Hey, Shalom, it's your brother Yuanathan. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Merkah Kadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. All right, may the blessing of election be upon your house. Okay, I got a clip that I want to show you guys. But before I do that, I want to read this precept. Um, this past Tuesday here at camp, talking to the brother Tazama, and we were just, you know, kingdom dreaming about, you know, rulership, sitting upon thrones, man. Let's, let's read this, uh, I'll elaborate on, you know, what the conversation was right quick, but I want to read this John 14, 1 and 2. It says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. All right, believe in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We show it through our actions. It's a doing. All right? Believe also in me. Believe in Yahweh Shai. Okay? Verse 2. In my father's house, there are many mansions. My father's house, the, the creation, the universe, his domain. All right? There, were many man there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. So upon his return, man, we hope to be a part of that number that are changed and get to, and get to join the Lord in that, in that ceremony in which the elect are crowned. All right. That where I am, there you may be also. OK, now let's show this clip. For you. Oh, 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 forgot. In the conversation me and Taz and I had, man, we just touched lightly on the fact that, hey, man, it, the Lord's going to be giving, you know, brothers dominion over lands. planets and we can sit here and fantasize about uh you know what the lord is gonna gonna do and give us but he says he's gonna outdo anything that we could come up with all right but you know you you go take all your slaves and your family to a planet and they populate the whole planet and you give dominion over that planet to your firstborn son you know he rules over the people and he's gonna rule it in righteousness because the law is gonna be written in his inward parts all right planets with different uh laws of physics and, and all these different things man we're, we're, we're gonna we're, we're never gonna be bored in the kingdom it was a, it was a man that asked that question the elder not Zakba, maybe about a year ago are we gonna be bored in the king no man not even close an eternity of just ever ever we're gonna know but ever ever witnessing and ever you know seeing different things it's, it's gonna be amazing man again it's gonna be beyond anything that we could come up with all right, but let me show you guys this clip because Esau, he want he, he the same way we were dreaming about that, he dreams about it too. But it's not for him. That's the blessing we were blessed with. You see? All right, let's go to this clip here. Else says that there could be type one, type two, or type three civilizations. A type one civilization is maybe a hundred years more advanced than us, to maybe a thousand years. They control the weather, a volcano. Hey, when Yahweh Shah was upon the earth, he, he what he, he controlled the seas. He was on the boat with the disciples. He controlled the winds. He controlled the weather, man. On a much higher fashion than what this devil tries to do with his harp machine. Alright? If you don't know what the harp machine is, look up the harp. Or you uh, you know, they, they try to weaponize the weather. Everything this devil touches, he wants to weaponize it. His blessing is the sword, which you know also alludes to the fact of who he is. He can't hide who he is. Although he's 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 lied and manipulated many words and meanings and, and changed the name of lands and peoples to try to do it through through his actions he reveals who he is and through you know the conditions that we're in it's revealed who we are all right by way of the curses but yeah Yahweh Shai two thousand years ago was manipulating the weather and this devil was recently being able to do things like that we're leaps and bounds those that be with us are leaps and bounds beyond our opponent man there's no way we lose and there's no reason for us to, 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 to be worried about anything this devil could do if he does do it the lord had okay at first all right so let's continue watching the video he's talking about type one type two and type three civilizations and their compat and, and their um their uh technological capacity to to use energy to um use resources right the standard of living that can be achieved within those civilizations and let me tell you something 
our standard of living is going to be beyond type 1, type 2, or type 3. All right? But let's continue to watch. Earthquakes, anything planetary, they control. That's type 1. Then there's type 2. Type 2 is stellar. They harness the power of an entire star, like Star Trek. Then there's type 3. Type 3 is galactic. They roam the galactic space lanes. They play with black holes. Then the next question is, what type do you have to be where wormholes may develop? Gateways through space and time. Portholes through empty space. We are maybe 100 years away from being type 1. A few thousand years from being... And you see footage of the chariots move or you hear some of their scientists and the maneuvers that they make. Or they, it seems like they, they pop into our reality and they disappear and then they come back. These things that they're dreaming and hoping of, you know, they didn't just think it up. I'm sure, you know, the elites, they have their scientists watching, watch, trying to watch the chariots and all that. And they've witnessed a lot of these things. So now they allude to it in interviews and in their, in their, in their theories and in, in their, in their, uh, their um, you know, essays that they write about particular things. They allude to it. But from day one, man, from day one, when the kingdom is being established, when we come down to those new bodies, man, even even before there's going to be many miracles happening. It's going to be the book of Acts all over again and upon Jacob's trouble when the Lord lifts up that standard. You're talking about type one having planetary control. Remember that, the, you know, the scriptures say that the, the stones of the field and, and, the, and the beast should be in league with us. Okay. They had Elijah calling down fire from heaven, from the chariots. And you had, man, you had Yahweh Shah turning water into wine, manipulating the elements. And he told us that we were going to do greater things than these. So, from day one, when the takeover begins, a type one civilization, type two civilization. Type three civilization, because I we mentioned the chairs do that kind of stuff all the time, playing with you know, manipulating uh, time and space. How hey, oh my goodness, look, <laughs> we are leaps and bounds beyond our opponents. So this video was basically just a testament to the fact that we have nothing to worry about. They that be with us are greater than them. They that be with them, and I'm driving, so you know I can't. I'm showing you the video, but I I do have to, you know, watch my surroundings. So I'm just quoting scriptures right now or, pair, you know, uh, making mention of them. All right. But, yeah, I seen this clip earlier today while I was at work. Now I'm off of work and uh, I said, man, I got I got to put this in the, in the video. But it was actually another clip where they were also going into um, UAPs or UFOs. That's what they call them in the world. But we know them to be the chariots of the angels. Let me get that clip as well all right hold on we're talking about objects that defy the known laws of aerodynamics with a technology beyond what we have today and he said it he said it uh defies the aerodynamics of the technology that they have today and that's even described in Ezekiel, the first chapter, when it starts to describe the chariots, 16 on down, all right, and they they move, they 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 can move the the maneuvers that they, they can make are not um they're unnatural, so to speak, all right. It's not like a high bird planes are basically like birds how they have to veer and turn and use their wing. It, it didn't move like that. He, he's gonna he's gonna elaborate on what he what what they mean what he meant when he said that too as well as the, as the clip goes on so that's why people are scratching their heads whose are these things if they're not the chinese the russians or the united states these objects can drop seventy thousand feet in a few seconds and these objects create no sonic booms when you exceed the sound barrier uh you create a gigantic boom that is then shatters windows and can be heard miles around these objects can effortlessly uh, break the sound barrier and not create a sonic boom. So what do you think is happening? 
Well, the Pentagon has listed, I think, five different options. Uh, one option, of course, is that they're weather balloons. Another category is anomalous uh, weather event. And a weather balloon, a balloon, no, it, it can't move. You, you just, to break the sound barrier, a balloon? Nah. Nah. But the last option is other. Mm. It opened the door to the possibility of other. And you, and you see they put the little gray men up there. And we know that's not what the, the angels don't look like that. They look like so-called Israelite men. They look like so-called black men. But it's that way he's going to play the semantics in the game. And this is something we've been telling you guys for years. People thought, you know, probably look at our apostles crazy for saying, oh, these are the, these are, you know what I mean? Looked at our teachers crazy saying, oh, we're going to be delivered by, people walk by and they would look at you crazy. And I don't blame them. If the Lord hasn't given you the eyes out to see it, it does sound crazy. But there's a reason why Wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter, it says, they, um, he'll be amazed at the strangeness of the Lord's salvation. So the devil told you that, you know, it was chariots in his movies and, and and things like that. But he had to put a little lie in there for a lie to, to really stick, to be good, to be a good lie. It has to have a, a hint of some truth. So he told you there was chariots, but he told you it was little gray men inside. He didn't tell you that, you know, those were the vessels that the Lord has the angels using. He didn't tell you that. We're talking about objects that yeah, defy. So, um, I seen those two clips. I want to share them with you guys. Lord willing, it, you know, got you a little bit excited. I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I want to say shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. All right, may the blessing of election be upon your house. We're leaps and bounds, leaps and bounds beyond our opponent. Shalom.